Welcome to AIPRM Tutorials. Today I'm going to walk you through how to create a private prompt. First off, make sure that you're logged into ChatGPT and AIPRM. Now there are thousands of prompts in the library, but sometimes you need something a little more personalized, a little more customized to use over and over for your business. So we're going to go from our public list to our own list. And we're going to create a private prompt today about how to write a Facebook social media post for your business. So one of two options, you can either click this plus sign next to the search bar, or you can click the plus add private prompt on your own prompt list. That will bring up this template where you're going to fill out a couple of different fields. Now, remember when you're building out your prompt, you can keep it very simple and just do one sentence. However, you'll get much more value if you build it out and provide more details to ChatGPT. When we're building out a prompt for a Facebook social media post for our business, I'm going to use an example as a landscaping business called Hedge Your Bets. Now, to build out this prompt, we're going to keep it relatively simple, but in essence, we're going to tell ChatGPT to act as a social media marketer. Next, we want to provide some information about our business so ChatGPT knows the type of business they're building the social media about. So we've got my business, Hedge Your Bets, offers landscaping services. I can cut your front yard or your backyard. I can also plant flowers, bushes, and trees, and I'm located in Northern Virginia. Now we're going to create the task. What do we want ChatGPT to do? In this case, we want to write a social media post for Facebook about any given topic. Make sure to use emojis and only one hashtag, and at the end, add a call to action. Now, if you notice here, we have this prompt variable. This is the most important thing when creating a prompt. You need to do bracket, prompt, bracket, and this is going to be replaced by whatever you type in to the prompt field on your normal prompt. So this can go in the middle of your prompt, this can go at the end of the prompt, but this is what you need to include in your prompt so ChatGPT can execute. Next, I always recommend providing an example. So ChatGPT has a sense of the output that you're expecting. So we're gonna add on an example here. Example, have you ever wanted to plant a garden in your front yard? You need to understand what flowers best complement your house. Colors and flower bed size can make a massive impact. Contact us for a consultation today. There's our little call to action that we referenced. Now we need to create the teaser. The teaser is basically a marketing description so you can remember what your prompt's about. This will be helpful if you share this with your team members by an AIPRM team. So in this case, choose the topic for the Facebook post and generate the perfect content for our Facebook page. Now we're going to create the prompt hint. The prompt hint is just a reminder for what you're actually going to write in the prompt that's going to be executed. The prompt hint is basically what's going to be a reminder for what goes in here. So in this case, we know we want it to be our Facebook post topic. So just remind there. And then finally, let's choose a nice title. Okay, write a Facebook post for Hedge Your Bets. Very straightforward. We know exactly what we're getting with this title. Now we can pick our topic. This will be marketing activity. We could either do this as marketing or writing. And then who can see this? Only me, private. You can make a my team or a public option. My team, go watch the my team tutorials. And then we also have a tutorial all around making public prompts. Made for. This just determines what model. So if you're a G or a chat GPT plus user and you have four, you can select that. This is more useful for when you're doing it as a public prompt. Then you put in your name and your author URL. It's optional. And then you save the prompt. Boom. Now we have an awesome write a Facebook post for Hedge Your Bets. Now if I just were to click on it and put in how to get the best front yard. There we go. I'm going to see a beautiful looking Facebook post with a ton of emojis, a nice little list. And let's see that call to action at the end. Yep. Learn more about our landscaping services. And then we'd insert the website URL. Boom. There you have the best way to create a prompt on AIPRM. 
As always, if you have any questions, head over to our community forum. We're always happy to help.